Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe. If you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. So in yesterday's video we uploaded a full review on the iHot Revolution and Snow White collection and as promised today we're going to be reviewing the Sleeping Beauty collection. So since the first ever launch of the princesses it's always been like one individual princess each launch but this time they presented us with two princesses. I love Sleeping Beauties, I'm very excited for this collection. So yesterday's video we had an extra palette part of that collection. This one is pretty much the same as what they do normally but there's just a little bit different with the lip products. So firstly in the collection you of course get the big main palette. This has got face and eye products like always. This is what the palette looks like. Absolutely love the packaging because it's pink. And then this is what the inside of the Sleeping Beauty palette looks like. The highlighters in this palette are a lot more inclusive than the ones in yesterday's one. So as always, you get three blushes, three highlighters and an eyeshadow palette. I must say, when I looked at this eyeshadow palette, I do think it's a bit random. Yesterday's one really fit in with the Snow White theme, but I don't, you know, I don't really understand this. <laughs> I feel like it is just a, a random group of colours. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe like pinks and blues, but this is just a bit, I don't know, a bit random in my opinion. Um, so that is what the big palette looks like. Then the single highlighter, this was super interesting. I did not, again, did not expect this colour whatsoever. So this is the packaging for the single highlighter and then opens up like this and as you can see that is a purple highlighter and this says once upon a dream yeah did not expect purple for this considering her dress is like pink and then like they the fairies change it blue or pink i was kind of expecting either one of those but this is like a full-on purple highlighter i am very interested to see how that applies on the skin and then we have our little lip gloss trio. I'm so excited about these. I hope the formula is good for them. These are what they look like. I absolutely like love this packaging that they're in. And the pinky one is called Fauna. The peachy one is called Flora. And the brownie one is called Merryweather. And yeah, this is just so nostalgic. I love it so much. So that is everything in the Sleeping Beauty collection. Let's get into testing them. So firstly, we're gonna dive into this purple single highlighter. And I am gonna just apply it to one side of my face because I'll use one from the face palette on the other side. So I'm just gonna, just gonna grab this. Again, very powdery and fallouty, like the other ones are and like the Snow White one. That is a straight up purple highlighter. I feel like the lights are washing it out a little bit, but in real life, you can definitely see how purple that is. <laughs> that is quite a funky color. Obviously, there's only so many wearable highlighters they can do for all the princesses. They've definitely never done a purple one before, so this is pretty cool. Would I reach for it on a regular basis, though? No. <laughs> I don't reach for purple highlighters. I'm going to be honest, some people might and they might really love this, but me personally, I'm all about my like icy champagne-y goldy highlighters and this is just not what I would reach for. The formula of it though, definitely not a super super blinding highlighter. This this is definitely like a glowy highlighter. It looks gorgeous on the skin though, I must say. Um, and if this was a more wearable, wearable, because not everyone's wearable is the same. If this was a more wearable colour, I would be all over it because I think it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, now we're going to move on into the big palette and we're going to choose one of these highlighters here. I think I might give the middle shade a go. This is called Sword of Truth, this one here. So this colour is a lot more like what I would reach for. It suits a fair skin tone really well. I can't see any sort of cast. 
but again it is more of that glowy highlighter so if you're not into your super blinding ones then you're actually going to really enjoy the formula of these and yeah i like the highlighters this one i wouldn't reach for but this one i definitely would um but it's just like not super super blinding what i usually go for okay now we're gonna take one of the blushes and i think i'm gonna take spinning wheel which is this blush here it's kind of like a peachy pink it's very beautiful it's not actually the lightest shade in here the lightest one is make it pink then shield of virtue is a lot but uh, a lot more darker I think I applied a bit too much, but that blush is beautiful. Um, you just don't need to go with a heavy hand with them because they are very, very pigmented. So next we're gonna dive into this very interesting eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I just have no clue what I'm going to do with this, um, but we will soon find out. But firstly, I'm gonna dive into some swatches. Okay, so these are the swatches for the palette. Again, they are quite hardly pressed in the pan, but some of them are actually really pigmented. The shimmers are really nice swatched on my arm. I just, I don't know, I feel a bit overwhelmed with this colour story. It just seems like a lot of random colours put together. I'm not really too sure what the thought process was behind this colour story, but it overwhelms me. Could just be me, but I need to try and create a nice look out of this, so... <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so I've just primed my eyes off of camera. I used my um, Creator Revolution um, Super Base. Couldn't think of the name of it then. Okay, I'm going to take the shade Spell, which is the purple in the palette. I used a lot of red yesterday, so I kind of... I don't know. This palette is just so confusing. I honestly have got no idea what to do. Then I'm going to take the shade Dreams, which is this brownie shade here, and I'm going to blend the top edges of that. I feel like this purple has shimmer particles in it, even though it doesn't look like it does. Then I'm going to go back in with the purple just to blend that into the brown a little bit. I'm going to have to dive into the reds as well because honestly that's like the only other shade I can think of that will go with purple. So I'm going to take Rose which is this one up here. And then I'm just going to go back in with the purple make sure that's all blended in. Do you know what? This eyelet kind of looks like I've been punched in both my eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to shove a beautiful shimmer in the middle of my lid. So I'm going to take King Stefan, which is this gold one here. I'm going to take this on my finger and we're going to just, we're just going to do that. Does it now look less like I've punched myself in the eyes? I don't know. I'm going to take Aurora, which is a pink shimmer, but I'm just going to take it anyway, um, on a bit more of a flat brush, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Okay, and then for my inner corners and brow bone, I'm going to take the shade Magical, which is this one here. Okay, so this is my completed eye look. I'm now going to hop off camera. I'm just going to pop some mascara and lashes on and then we can test out the lip glosses. Okay, so I'm back. I've completed my eye look. I just, again, used my Roxy eyelashes. I'm surprised these are not dead at this point. I've used them so much. And my mascara is the Maybelline Sky High one. I'm just trying to finish this up now. I've used it so much. I'm surprised it hasn't run out. Now we've got the three lip glosses left to test. So I think I'm just going to swatch them all, choose my favourite one and then apply that. So let's swatch these. The first one is Flora. I've got to give these a sniff as well. Oh, they do have a sweet smell and the doe foot on it is actually really tiny. The doe foots normally are much bigger than that. Um, but this is a lot smaller. So that is Flora. 
swatched very very peachy lip gloss not a normal sort of shade i would reach for the next one is fauna this is the pinky one again has that sweet scent i would definitely use like this one over like a pinky lipstick uh flora is this one it's actually very very beautiful and these are really pigmented actually and the last one, which mm, is probably the one I'm going to go for, this is Meriwether. They've all got this like beautiful shimmery re reflect to them and it makes them look stunning. Oh yeah. We're going to be using Meriwether today because look at this beautiful nudie gloss. Oh yeah that is a bit of me the other colors are very very pretty um it's just meriwether is the one that i would reach for the most this is my little lip liner mug <laughs> um and now i need to pick a little lip liner i'm gonna take the mua lip liner in tlc and i'm just gonna line the outside of my lips with this and then i'll put the gloss in the middle okay and then i'm taking meriwether Wow, that is a beautiful lip gloss formula. This is what it looks like. It actually goes with the lip liner really well. Um, super creamy and easy to apply. Very, very glossy on the lips. And I think the little shimmer particles in it make it even more pretty. I think £10 for free lip glosses is a very good price considering the lip toppers are £5 each to get three different pretty glosses very very nice i like this okay so that is the entire sleeping beauty collection tested let's just run through my thoughts very very quickly so the single highlighter is a very interesting and pretty shade i would not reach for this on an everyday basis though very glowy as well it's not super blinding so if you like your purpley toned highlighters you are going to love this the face and eye palette i actually prefer the face side in this palette the blush was very pigmented and i love the shade selection in here again love the shade selection of the highlighters definitely a little more inclusive than yesterday and the highlighter that i tested the middle one here is a lot more of a glowy highlighter these are not blind i mean this and this could be i'm not too sure but the one i tested is very glowy so if you prefer your glowy highlighters you're going to love the ones in here now the eyeshadow palette is where i give my mixed opinions on because I just feel like this side is very overwhelming. It, there's just a lot of colours here. A lot of mattes, must I say. Like, there are a ton of mattes in here. But I just feel like a lot of the colours... I don't know if I'm just having creative block. I'm not sure. But I just feel overwhelmed when I look at this eyeshadow palette. I don't really get Sleeping Beauty vibes from it either. I feel like if it was pinks and blues, I would get the theme a little bit more. But I just feel like... There's like a shimmery pink, a matte purple, matte green, a um, blue, some reds, a mint green, some like really light nude shades, a nude. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just not, it's just not Sleeping Beauty in my eyes. I don't know. Um, the quality of it is actually not that bad. Um, I feel like I did create um, a pigmented look with this palette. So the quality of this is not bad or anything. It was just more for me, the colour story just wasn't i don't know just wasn't a bit of me i don't think but i love the face side in here so it's just the eyeshadow palette color story that let it down for me and the lip glosses i literally just touched base on them the formula is very very good and i think for three lip glosses for 10 pounds is a very good price if you like the shades in there then it's definitely worth it and yeah they're kind of my thoughts and opinions on the sleeping beauty collection definitely a lot more mixed than yesterday's if i'm honest i definitely prefer the snow white collection over the sleeping beauty one i just think there's a lot more aspects of the snow white collection that i love way more than this one um i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions down below on this collection i'd love to know if you've picked it up and what you think of it or just your opinion on the collection after you've watched this video so i'm going to wrap this video up here i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye